Hi guys, I did promise a video on the uh, the uh, CarCam 3 X8000. Um, so what I've done is I've taken out the micro SD card from the uh, the camera or the dash cam, and I've popped it into an SD adapter and popped it into the laptop. And if you just go to my computer, uh, that's the micro SD card there. They call it Doctor Disk. If you just go into that, you'll see that the actual software you require is uh, is actually already on this micro SD card. And um, if you popped a blank, or, you know, a freshly bought uh, micro SD card into the dash cam, it would ask you to format it. And when you format it, this uh, this X2 player is automatically installed onto the uh, the micro SD card so this is not something you will be able to download anywhere or and you won't have it you know <laughs> in your programs on the computer you just literally run it from the micro SD card every time you want to view your uh, videos back on the PC so we'll just run that This is one of these stupid programs uh, that has two sizes, either that one or that size. You cannot make this full screen, uh, well not at my screen resolution anyway. Um, so let me just have a quick run through uh, what we've got here. Um, it will already highlight the first clip. Uh, this is quite a small memory card that came with it, I think it was 4 gig, so it will overwrite uh, you know, fairly uh, quickly. So uh, that's clip one um, that was uh, I think earlier today and it gives you the time that the clip started, the length of the clip and the amount of uh, memory it uses on the card and uh, there's various uh, data. Um, you can turn where is it? The G sensor data on or off and uh, the dash cam is uh, triggered to lock any recording where the g-force exceeds a certain uh, a certain value and again i think that's adjustable in the uh, in the settings of the the dash cam uh, if in fact it happened earlier on the because i'm messing around with different positions of the dash cam as you can see from here it's it, this one's at the moment mounted on the dashboard it's too low it needs to be up higher uh, and earlier on i mounted it up just behind the uh, rear view mirror so i'm going to do some tests with it in the, in that position uh, but um, uh, yeah, actually, it wasn't securely stuck onto the dashboard, and it fell off uh, on two occasions. And I've deleted those clips now, but uh, you'll find that the G sensor will trigger uh, the recording to be locked, and it will just have a little uh, lock symbol here. And uh, you can manually lock any recording from being overwritten by pressing the button on the dash cam itself, or if a G force uh, has exceeded a certain limit it will do it automatically and you'll see a little padlock symbol if I've pressed the button or if it's done it automatically you'll see a padlock symbol with a little G uh, over the top of it and that's just to show that the G uh, forces which are recorded here have exceeded uh, whatever you've set. I'm just going to turn the volume down. It is obviously recording volume as you go along. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's now playing back the recording. Uh, I'll just skip forward actually because we're sat at traffic lights. On here you've got various G loadings as you go around bends and uh, accelerate and decelerate and things like that. Uh, so the quality is, uh, you know, it's not too bad at all. And obviously you can pause this uh, at any point and rewind it. You can delete uh, any of these files by just highlighting it here and then clicking on the delete button and then it just now goes on to the, uh, the, you know, the second clip which is obviously shorter. The lenses can be moved. I've just you know, pointed them right out so you get the maximum coverage. Uh, but in the middle here, you can see the the same uh, vehicle, so they're overlapping slightly. 
it's a shame that they're not quite aligned properly actually in the dash cam if there was not this step here you could set them up perfectly to have a seamless uh, picture but then you know this is good enough if you were in a crash and somebody pulled out or they went through a red light you're, you're going to capture it all uh, all on here there's no uh, there's no problems there uh, notice at the top the GPS is uh, working it's telling you uh, your position and uh, speed let me just you can change that between kilometers per hour to miles per hour uh, again useful for uh, evidence it's uh, it's pretty accurate it ties in uh, pretty closely to the car's own figure I think most cars speedos are uh, a little on the high side but you know somebody pulled out of a turning now straight in front of you uh, then by well, then like this one here then you're going to have that clearly <laughs> recorded with your speed uh, uh, and everything uh, there uh, I don't know whether that's just pointing the way we're going not so I bothered looking at it before it's obviously a compass if we are heading north that's what that would imply we'll see in a while when we turn around ah oh, yeah there you go that's uh, that's pointing in a direction you're traveling at the moment you can either have both images the left camera or the right camera so uh, yeah it's a bit odd looking at both side by side it's much nicer just to look at the one picture and this of course would be much better when the uh, dash cam is in the right uh, in the right place also note that you've got the your position on Google Maps and uh, you can also change that to the satellite view which I don't know whether I need to stop this first yeah you can go to satellite view and see where you are again nice sort of evidential feature if uh, there was uh, an accident and somebody said oh I wasn't even there and you know you can prove it with GPS data speed uh, g-force and uh, uh, you know an image of exactly where you were so uh, yeah very useful um, buttons we've got on here are open a folder uh, that will take a snapshot so let's say I wanted to take a an image of that right hand camera you can click, click on snapshot and we'll just save it as car oops car one and that just saves to in my case desktop now I'm just going to open that up because you know, the image uh, is fine but if we have that car much closer and you wanted to see the number plate the quality is not that good okay good to capture you know something if you needed to print out photos for a insurance claim or something like that but you are not going to be able to read the number plate on any approaching car uh, you would be able to read number plates of cars uh, in front of you I think and uh, another time I'm going to try replacing one of the lenses with a slightly higher uh, power lens so we can uh, get zoomed in a little bit on uh, on one of the cameras uh, so that's that uh, you can obviously save the entire uh, 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 clip and uh, create a new folder for that to delete any clip you would just need to select it and click on delete uh, settings I'm sure we've got here oh, yeah, you can format the card uh, you can select your map options there's only two uh, test the SD card speed and you can set a password um, that stops other people messing with these settings I've left all that as the default you've obviously got play stop fast forward rewind you've got volume here um, you can also loop uh, a clip if you wanted to you can't see why you would but uh, if you wanted to watch something over and over again you can set that uh, something you can do if if like our screen you, you're really having a trouble having trouble getting this uh, to mount in the correct position you might find that it works better with the dash cam upside down so now if that's the case you can actually then reverse the image when you go to play it back okay so uh, that's a useful feature 
Uh, that one, I can't remember what it's for actually. KLM. Mm, I think again, that's just backup. Uh, map is either turn, you know switchable. You can turn that on or off. And the GeForce data is again switchable on or off. Uh, repair video. Uh, sometimes, and this happened earlier, it will say um, broken. I don't know whether that's because. Well, in fact, I haven't worked out why. I've only seen it twice, and that happened today. I haven't worked out what the problem was, and I've forgotten that there is a repair video uh, option. So I'm going to have to tell you what that does at a later date, I think. Um, and then you can, if any of these are locked, you can force unlock them uh, and then delete them. And that one obviously is just the. Uh, the size of the uh, image on the uh, oh, sorry size of the box I uh, wish these they could just make these full screen but they, uh, they don't for whatever reason um, so yeah that's just a quick look at the, uh, the software that is uh, is on the micro SD card uh, you know no particular problems uh, with it um, I will change one of the lenses, I think, or just experiment so we can get a close up of uh, car number plates as they go by, just in case. Um, and hopefully, today I've mounted it uh, up by the rear view mirror, and uh, that will give us a far better view. I shall uh, get out and try that later on. So, yeah, anyway, just a quick look at this X2 player, and uh, yeah, I hope that was useful. Catch you later.